One logo can have several variations when it comes to design, dimensions, orientation, and shape. Every time you adapt your logo to something, the goal is for it to retain its integrity. Here are some variations of your logo you need to consider. Horizontal, square, and vertical, black and white, full color, and inverse color, regular background and transparent background, as well as full logo, icon only, and limited text or single letter. The file type affects what the logo looks like as it's scaled up and enlarged. If you create the logo using a non-scalable file type, it will look blurry and pixelated as it gets larger. Your logo should be in vector format and exported as a PNG file. A PNG is a lossless compressed file, which means that the file size is pretty small, but the quality of the design is maintained. You can also use a transparent background with a PNG file. Your PNG file should be less than 200 kilobytes in order for load time to be fast. Your logo will go in two primary places on your website, the fave icon and the navigation bar. Let's go over specific dimensions for those places. In a small space like the fave icon, you should use your icon only logo since the area will be too small for any text to be readable. Or if your logo is only a word, you can use either the first letter of the word or a monogram version if there are two or more words. Standard fave icon sizes are as follows, 16 by 16, 32 by 32, and 48 by 48 pixels. The navigation bar or header of your website will be home to your logo as well. Typically, the logo will sit on the left side of the navigation bar. While the exact sizing depends on your specific website, it's likely that the size options will be approximately as follows. Full banner, 468 by 60 pixels. Horizontal layout, 250 by 150, 350 by 75, or 400 by 100 pixels. And vertical layout, 160 by 160 pixels. Now keep in mind, those aren't the sizes of the actual header, but they're the sizes to consider when designing your logo to fit. So for a full banner, your logo size would be 468 by 60, but your banner would be much bigger. And there you go. That's all you need to know about sizing your logo. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.